Hey guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter two, lesson eight. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, it is giving you a number that it's starting with, and you need to decide if that number is correct or not. So on number two, because we're going to start with number two, um, it says 24 goes into 689 three times. Well, we need to find out if that's the case, okay? So over here, I wrote down multiples of 24 because I don't know them off the top of my head. And so we're going to go ahead and see if we're going to fit it, if we're going to have three as our first number, okay? All right. So we need to decide if it's the right number, and then we need to finish the problem, okay? So 24 is not going to go into six. Placeholder. Oh, and I wrote my does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers up here because I need to remember my sets for, most, or for division, okay? So 24 is not going to go into six. 24 will go into 68. I'm going to come down here. It looks like 48 is going to be the closest that I can get. Okay. So two times, two times 24 was 48. When I subtract, okay, I divide it and multiply. Now I'm subtracting. I get 20. Oh, it looks like I'm going to have to go further with my, with my uh, 24s over here. Okay. 20 is smaller than 24. So I'm going to bring down my 9. Now, I'm going to see, remember, we can use our calculator to find out our multiples, but not to do the problem. We need to be able to show our work over here, okay? So I'm just going to use it to show my multiples, okay? 24 times 5 is 120, and 24 times 6, 144, and Okay, 24 times 7 is 168. No, we need to go all the way up here, so I'm going to keep on going. 24 times 8 is 192. Okay, and I don't think I'm going to fit another one in, but 24 times 9 is 216. Okay, so it is. The closest we're going to be able to get is about 192. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Okay? Eight times. Eight times is 192. Okay, so I'm going to subtract. Okay? Nine minus two is seven. Zero cannot take away nine. So I'm going to make that a one, make that 10. That makes 17. Okay? So now 17 is smaller than 24. So I'm going to put my decimal in. Okay, and I'm going to put a zero in and I'm going to bring it down. Okay, so 24 into 170, I think the closest we're going to get is going to be 168. Okay, so 168 was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Seven times, seven times 24 was 168. Subtract, I'm going to get two. Okay, now it wants us to go to the hundredth place today. I'm going to extend that out a little bit, put one more zero for the hundredths place, because this is the tenth. One more place is the hundredth. Okay. Put my zero down, and 24 is not going to go into 20. Zero. Okay. There we go. Now, it's really as far as you have to go, because it just wants it to the hundredth place. Okay. So, that was number two. Ready for number three? Let's do it. Okay. Number three, I wrote down multiples of 65 over here. Hopefully, I don't have to go past those. So I'm going to start. 65 is not going to go into two placeholder. It's not going to go into 22 placeholder. It will go into 221. It looks like the closest we're going to get is 195. So three, 195. Do some borrowing. And that means that 11 minus 5 is 6. 11 minus 9 is 2, and 1 minus 1 is nothing, okay? 26 is smaller than 65, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring down my 0, okay? 260, there's one right there that's 260, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4 times, okay? Which was 260. Now, we don't have to worry about going out to the hundredth place here because there's, there's nothing there. We could put decimal zero zero and we could put decimal zero zero pair but we don't have to okay so that means that on number two where it says where it gives you three is that first number 
That was not correct. Now on number three, it gives you a three year. That was correct, okay? So let's make sure that you're getting those in, okay? So numbers four through 12, you're gonna do. Same exact thing, okay? Numbers five through 12, you just don't have to tell them if it's the right number, okay? So four through 12, you guys are gonna do that. We are gonna go down to number 13. And it says, a copier prints 89 copies in one minute. How long will it take the copier to print 1,958 copies? So over here, obviously, I do not know my multiples of 89. So over here, I wrote some down. Okay, hopefully I don't have to go past that. So 89 is not going to go into one placeholder. It's not going to go into 19 placeholder. It will go into 195 times. It looks like the most we're going to get is 2 or 178. Subtract, okay? Five can't take away eight. I'm going to make that one an eight. That makes it 15. 15 minus eight is seven, and eight minus seven is one, okay? Now, 17 is definitely less than 89, so I'm going to bring down my eight, okay? And 89 goes into 178. It looks like two times. Two times, two times 89 was 178. Subtract and get nothing. So 22 minutes is how long does it take the copier to print 1,958 copies? And it's being measured in minutes in the first part of this question. So minutes, 22 minutes. Okay, number 14. It says Erica is saving her money to buy a dining room set that costs $580. If she saves $29 each month, how many months will she need to save enough to buy money to buy the set? Okay, so over here, I wrote down multiples of 29 because I don't know those, okay? No shame in my game, okay? I do not know multiples of 29, even though I teach math all day long to everybody, okay? I still don't know multiples of 29, okay? So I used my calculator and got my multiples out, or I can use a multiplication chart if it goes to 29. If not, just use a calculator to get the multiples. It just makes this part that much easier if you don't have to sit here and do side math every other minute, okay? So 29 is not gonna go into five, okay? 29 will go into 58, look, two times. That's 58, zero. Well, zero is smaller than 29, and because I have a zero here, I could bring that zero down, but I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it up, okay? And it says, how many months? So it's going to be 20 months. Okay, there you go. Okay, the lesson check on the back. You guys do it. I have complete faith in you. Okay, we are going to go down and do style review. It's important to remember what we've learned. Let me get my paper right. Okay, I like to fold up my paper so that I have a square for each problem. It saves paper and it's just nice to have it separated where I can fold it and ignore all the other problems. But seeing all of them all together is a little overwhelming sometimes. So my nines, I should know my multiples of nine, so I did not write those down over here, okay? If you do not, no shame in your game, use a multiplication chart, okay? Now, nine is not gonna go into one. Oh, sorry, star review. It says Lena makes beaded bracelets. She uses nine beads to make each bracelet. How many bracelets can she make? with 157 beads, or sorry, 156 beads. So nine is not gonna go into one placeholder. Nine will go into 15 one time. That's nine, subtract six. Okay, so six is smaller than nine. I'm gonna bring down my other six, okay? Okay, so Nine goes into 66. I'm gonna say seven times is 63. Subtract three, okay? So she can make 17 bracelets, okay? This other three, she can't make another bracelet with only three beads, okay? So she can only make 17 bracelets, all right? So. Make sure we're labeling word problem, word answer, okay? Number four, 
says a total of 1,056 students from different schools entered the county science fair. Each school enters exactly 32 students. How many schools participate in the science fair? So this is how many kids there are. Each school sent 32. We need to find out how many schools there are, okay? Again, wrote down my multiples, no shame in my game, okay? So 32 is not gonna go into one. It's not gonna go into 10. 105, the closest I'm gonna get without going over is 96. So that's one, two, three. Three times two is six. Three times three is nine, 96. Okay, so when I subtract, Five can't take away six. I'm going to make it a 15. I can't borrow from a zero. I'm going to borrow from the one all the way over. That makes that a 10, but I have to borrow one, so it makes it a nine. Okay, so 15 take away six is nine. Bring down my six because nine is smaller than 32. And look, 96 right there. So that's one, two, three. 96, zero. So 33 schools. Wants to know how many schools participated in the science fair. Okay, 33 schools. All right, number five. I love these because I'm going to write this number underneath this number. Okay, now these are really easy because you kind of treat them like. Um, ABC order, where if the letter is the same, then you just go to the next one. So in this one, the sixes are the same, sevens are the same, eights are the same, nines are the same. Well, there's three and there's four. That makes the four the bigger number, which means it opens that way. Okay. All right, guys, last one, number six. Chrissy buys 48 barrettes. She shares the barrettes equally between herself and three sisters that makes four people total that's the mistake people make on these is they don't include herself okay you got to add that into the equation so herself and three sisters is four people okay write an expression to represent the number of barrettes each girl gets well the expression would be the 48 barrette divided by four sisters okay now let's do some math really fast and we can answer it. Four goes into four once, that's gonna be four, subtract zero, bring down our eight. Four goes into eight twice, that is eight, zero. So, 12 breaths. There you go, okay? This is your expression, this whole thing right here, okay? There you go, okay? That's number six. All right, guys, that was 2.8. Come back for 2.9 soon. See you guys soon.